Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming today. I'm Kosuke Aiso from Fukuoka Laboratory, Department of Mechanical System Engineering Graduate School of Science and Engineering, Yamagata University. This slide shows the background. The 3D food picture printer used food for materials such as duff, paste, chocolate, agar, candy, and so on. Food 3D printers are expected to serve food with controlling shape, appearance, taste, nutrients, and texture. Food 3D printers are expected to be used to make hospital diet and space diet. Using food 3D printer is also expected to help solve the problem of food shortage around the world. In Spanish restaurants, 3D food printers are used to serve 3D printed food. There are many different types of food 3D printers, such as screw type, syringe type, and ink type for printing various food. The screw and syringe type extruder are often introduced. However, there are few 3D printers capable of printing hard textured food. The figure below in range of the hardness of 3D printed food with each printing method. The syringe type printer can print food with hardness ranging from the hardness of agar to the hardness of mashed potatoes, while the screw type printer can print food with hardness ranging from the hardness of agar to the hardness of dough. Therefore, I aim to develop a food 3D printer that can print food with wider range of hardness from the hardness of agar to the hardness of cookie. This slide shows the um, objective. I aim to develop a 3D printer capable of printing hard textured food like cookie with that suspension and also aim to develop a 3D printer capable of printing food with different hardness and textures for each part. In the printing process, the start suspension is irradiated with a blue laser and the irradiated spot is gelatinized by heat generated by photothermal conversion. And this slide shows the 3D printing method. SFG is named by taking the first Later of selective laser gelatinizing. First, mixed suspension is supplied into the container by a unijectional eccentric screw pump and leveled to make a thin layer. Next, the liquid surface of the suspension is radiated with a laser and gelatinized 3D printing is performed by repeating those processes. Finally, the 3D printed is removed from the suspension. The hood 3D printer is based on a commercially available 3D printer GTEC i3 Pro B. The extruder unit of the printer is replaced by a blue diode ray laser alpha wise. The table on the top right shows the details of the laser module. A laser module has a wavelength of 450 nanometer and the maximum output power of 5.5 watts. We select a visible blue laser that is common and safe. The video at the bottom right shows how is 3D printing. Cylinder shape is 3D printed. The cylinder has composed of one layer. The liquid surface of the stud suspension is irradiated with the laser in such a way that it is laid down at 0.1 millimeter sensation and gelatinized. The suspension is repaired by mixing cornstarch water and food coloring as an absorbent material. Cornstarch and water suspension absorbance at 400 nanometer is very low, so we add titrating as an absorbent to enhancing the absorption of the blue laser. The, the light graph shows the absorption spectrum of titration. This slide shows elastic modulus measurement. It is considered that the elastic modulus of material 
radiated and gelatinized by blue laser is controlled by changing the cumulative light intensity. I print the shearing circular layer with radius of 5 mm by changing the scanning speed. The layer 3D printed is compressed by compression distance and elastic modulus of the layer is measured. The right figure shows the 3D date used for printing and the center table shows the limit condition. The figure on the right shows the stress strain curves at scanning speed of 5 mm per sec, and the figure on the right shows the relationship between scan speed and elastic modulus of the gelatinized layer. The elastic modulus of the layer printed is saturated for a strain range of 0 to 0 0.1. As you can see from the graph, the lower the scanning speed, the higher the elastic modulus of the layer 3D printed. This result shows that the elastic modulus of the gelatinized layer is controlled by changing the cumulative light intensity radiated to the suspension. This slide shows the laser scan speed is set at 5.0 mm per sec. I print the cylindrical shape with a diameter of 10 mm. The right figure shows the 3D date. The cylinder has composed of five layers and the thickness of each layer is 0.5 mm. Two samples are printed. The print sample contains 50 100 weight percent starch, 50 weight percent water, and 0.03 weight percent tartrogen. The second sample contains 40 weight percent starch, 40 weight percent water, and 20 weight percent egg yolk. The figure on the right shows a picture of the printed sample. I compose 3D printed of layer type 3D printed of screw type and bagel cookie to compare the hardness of them. All samples are made the shape of cylinder with the diameter of 10 mm and height of 2.5 mm. The first sample is mixture of gelling agent and water as a screw type printing material. The second sample is duct as screw type printing material. FP2500 is developed with our lab and SAKE Corporation. Cookie duff is made by mixing flour, egg, and butter. Then the duff is baked in the oven. This slide shows the compression test result. The graph on the left shows the stress strain curves of sample printed with layer the type and skew type. The table on the right shows the elastic modulus of sample. The elastic modulus of the layer printed is created for a string range of 0 0.02 to 0.1. The elastic modulus of the 3D printed object of starch water and egg with laser is greater than that of the, of the other 3D printed objects. The elastic modulus of gelatinized material by laser irradiation is still lower than that, the, that of the cookie. I will explore the 3D printing method to increase the elastic modulus. This slide shows the summary of the results. The elastic modulus of the 3D printed used in this experiment is shown in the graph. Food with green text are objects printed by screw extrusion and Food with red text are objects printed with laser. The range of the elastic modulus of the object printed with laser is wider than that by screw extrusion. We improve the 3D printing process to increase the elastic modulus of the 3D printed object. This slide shows the conclusion and figured steps. This work was in part by showing that's all for my presentation thank you very much